Hi, this is Phil Shapiro in Tacoma Park. I wanted to show you today a really interesting Linux solution that lets us use one laptop and three computers, all uh, two other stations. So I bought this laptop. It's an older Dell, Dell Inspiron E1505. I bought it on eBay for about $75, but this is the kind of laptop that people might give away for free. And I installed a Linux on it called Fedora 20. It's from a company called Red Hat, um, a very well-known and respected Linux company. And it's a totally free software, so you can download it and install it. You can install it either from a DVD or a USB flash drive. And here's the exciting part. This one laptop lets us connect up the extra keyboards and monitors, and we're all sharing the laptop's processor. And um, the device that makes this happen is called a pluggable device. This costs about $80 on Amazon.com. And it just uses a USB cable. Um, a USB cable connects the pluggable to a USB port on the computer. And every USB port on the computer can become its own station. So if you have a laptop with four USB ports, you could have four stations in addition to the laptop. So you could even have a mini computer lab that would be quite affordable. You pay $80 per station. And then if you can scrounge the keyboards and the USB mice, USB keyboards, and these VGA monitors, people give away these monitors a lot. This is a 15-inch monitor. It really doesn't have any market value. And people give these away. So my dream is that more people can know about this as a solution. It's ideal for somebody in the Peace Corps, where you can have the teacher station, the laptop here, and the teacher does work on it at home in the evening preparing um, classes for the next day or checking email or something like that and then during the school day the teacher brings this laptop in and and other students could be practicing typing tutoring there's a website called uh, typingweb.com that I totally love it's free and then somebody could be over here uh, checking their email or reading news right now I'm on the CNN website and you can see if I'm surfing the web I can be surfing the web concurrently in all three computers it's a little bit magical, I have to tell you. Um, until you see how this works, it's a little magical, but each of the different stations is a different user. I made extra users on this computer. Each has its own password, and each uh, user can have his, their own bookmarks. So this is a very affordable solution. They call it multi-seat. And at the public library I work in Tacoma Park, we have a, a very hefty, fast computer and we sometimes have six stations. So one computer runs six stations at the same time. But over here, I'm using this donated or older equipment, and so three stations is more appropriate for this. So um, this is a solution I wanted to show, create this video, just to show what's possible. And I believe also that public libraries need to be doing workshops showing that this kind of thing is possible because if you didn't think it's possible, somebody might take this Windows XP laptop, they say, oh, it's obsolete, I'm gonna throw it in the trash. Instead of throwing it in the trash, if we put on Linux, it can go to a hospital in Haiti or a school in Somalia or someplace, and it could get uh, used for another five or 10 years um, for word processing, for practicing typing, for learning English, for writing skills. Um, and as you all know, as you increase literacy, uh, that also increases health uh, around the world. So this is a tool um, that I wanted to explain. This is Fedora 20 Linux. I'm using it on this older Dell Inspiron E1505. And this particular laptop has four USB ports. So um, if I put in some extra memory, I think I could actually have one laptop and four stations. So it'd be a total of five stations, all on this old laptop and all using the free software, the Fedora 20 Linux. So I think that's pretty exciting. I'm also using totally new uh, web browser. This is uh, Firefox 30. You could also use Google Chrome, which is also a very fast and good word processor. So this is Phil Shapiro in Tacoma Park. Thanks for watching.